So Randy, what are the main conclusions of Boeing's current market outlook for Europe? Well, two things. First and foremost, we expect the market to grow. And as a result of the growth we see in the market, we expect strong demand for new aircraft. In fact, over the next 20 years in Europe, we expect traffic to grow almost 4%. And as a result of that growth, for the airlines of Europe to need about 7,500 airplanes over the next 20 years, valued at 1.1 trillion US dollars. That's a lot of planes. What's the biggest difference between the European outlook and that of other regions? Well, I think that when we look at the European market, first and foremost, it's a replacement market. So more of the airplanes will deliver to replace older aircraft than any other region. The other thing is this is a very strong market, especially for growth within the region. So airplanes like the 737, airplanes like the A320 will really form the backbone of the fleets here in Europe. Is passenger traffic increasing or decreasing and why? And what about cargo in Europe? Well, there's no question when we look at the European market, when we look at the global market, the market is growing. Here in Europe, over the last nine months, it's grown about 8%, uh, whether it comes to passenger traffic or cargo traffic. And in fact, when you take a look at the global market, one third of the growth in the entire market has been a result of the growth here in Europe. And what about innovation? What, what, what sets Boeing apart? Well, I think it's about a number of things. It's about knowing your customers. It's about taking new technology and applying it to aircraft. And I think it's also about taking that technology and not just applying it to aircraft, but also to our production system. You know, it's very interesting. Today, we build 47 737s a month in the same space we used to deliver 18 airplanes a month. So we've been able to innovate, we've been able to change with the way we produce airplanes, we've been able to change the way we build airplanes, and most importantly, we make those airplanes more and more efficient for our customers over time. Can I uh, ask you about competition and Airbus? Oh yes, absolutely. Competition's fierce. You know, we continue to invest, Airbus continues to invest. I think from our perspective, the good news is now five years in a row, we have been the market leader in terms of deliveries. Orders are nice, they're interesting, but at the end of the day, it's all about deliveries, and we've been the delivery leader, and we expect to continue to be the delivery leader. We have a very strong, complete set of products, as do they. I think the thing that sets us apart are the capabilities of our products, the efficiency of our products, and again, that close relationship we have with our customers. Can I ask you about growth? Well, you know, since the downturn of 2008, 2009, we've seen a very strong, vibrant market. In fact, passenger traffic over the last seven and a half years has grown above long-term trend. Not only has traffic been growing, but the traffic has been growing faster than capacity, which means airplanes are fuller and fuller, higher load factors than as we've ever seen in the past. The other thing, as a result of this strong traffic growth, and frankly, our customers managing their business as well as they ever had, we're on the verge of an eighth year of profitability for our customers. That is a time, I mean, that goes back to a time in the 1970s. So with the raising market, what we've been able to do is deliver more airplanes, our competitions delivered more airplanes, we're providing more value to our customers, and frankly, as time goes by, we've seen fares go lower, and that benefits the passengers.